This is the men's boulder final in Prague in 2023. Adam Ondra, the king, is back. The position in this final is insane. We have Meshti Slark, Yoshiko Yogata, Doyon Lee, oh, all previous World Cup champions. This is an all-star final. Starting off with Yannick Flohe. Yannick Flohe rocking the glasses. Shout out to all you climbers who wear glasses as well. Oh, that is a tricky first move. Oh, that's really, really low percentage. Oh my god, it's even blocked. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, he finally strikes it. What nicely well balanced. The weight has to be quite equal, otherwise, one pull on either side is going to fling him and rotate him forward or rotate him around. So, very, very careful he has to be. It's a really, really interesting blocked version. Oh my goodness. And the swing into the other side as well is a little bit tricky. So very, very parkour, this uh, sequence. Yeah, Yannick Flohe is a previous World Cup champion. He has been in the finals for a couple of times, especially last year. This is his first finals this year, I believe. Come on, Flohe. Come on, Ali. Oh my goodness, what is he? Oh, I had to kind of do a weird kind of match over there. Oh. Okay, this is the jump he did once before. Did he gonna okay? He decides to stop and tank at the swing first before going in with the right hand. And now the goat is here. This is his first finals of this year. This is our first competition as well. I honestly can't believe he's here. I, I, I thought that he was maybe too old. I thought maybe Adam Ondra was you know went on to the outdoor scene already. He kind of abandoned climbing competitions, and indoor competitions, but here he is today in the finals somehow through a miracle. I cannot believe it. It's a miracle. He's already here. First try doesn't really quite get it. He seems to be actually going for them separately open uh, in an open position. He needs to be able to get the Gaston cross. So that's a really tricky place to be. Oh, Adam Ondra doesn't seem very, very balanced. Not very weighted on his feet. Will he be able to adjust? He already did make the adjustment of going for the cross. Um, I don't think it's even an elevator door. Elevator doors when your hands are, you know, not overlapping. This is like an overlapping Gaston elevator. So this is actually, oh, super tricky. Doesn't seem very close and he has to really learn this movement. Adam Andra, with coordination, not his strong suit, but he somehow managed to go through the semifinals. Every every route in the semifinals was like some form of coordination, especially men's three. That was insane. He barely got the zone on it with 15 seconds left. Enabling him to, to kind of sneak into the finals somehow, some way. I have no idea, but the hometown hero, the GOAT, the legend is back. The king comes in for another attempt. Oh, a slightly slower approach, but his hips are kind of trailing off the wall. So he might need to adjust there. This is pulling on a little bit of a cheetah. Uh, hold that cheetah hold is actually not very in cut. It's kind of kind of slopey, like a rounded slopey. Oh, he somehow fumbles the zone, but somehow manages to stick. It. Okay, sounds like the margin of error for him is quite nice. Oh, he kind of like kind of pinches the the two the two chip chips there. So very interesting decisions by Adam Andra. Now, how does he eye up this? top section he goes into a kind of leading pogo move i think he wanted to maybe uh step and catch but it doesn't seem like it but he did learn a little bit more about that hole that hole is a slopey kind of new flat hole um so they need to be able to decide what they want to do yannick flohe took one attempt to kind of figure out decide what he wanted to do he decided to Grab it and control the swing. Adam Andra now. He has looks like he's learned this move quite well. Ooh, ooh, almost rotating off a little bit with a little bit of a leg slip. He manages to recover. Coming in. His legs are quite narrow together. He wants to go to a leading right leg together. Oh, there we go. He wanted to step and press. Oh, he almost didn't really catch the nice part of that top. Huge back flag inside version and top slip to match. So sick. I can't believe Adam Andre is actually nailing these coordination moves. He's actually the good. With success outdoors by miles ahead of everybody else and with great indoor success as well. He's truly the good man. He's actually the good. Look at him. Comes in, actually misses the first time. I don't know how he manages to hang on. Oh my goodness. And this kind of like crazy 
back flag position. He's so flexible. Oh my goodness. Drops in with the left hand. That's just the top. Super, super sick. Match the Slug making his uh, mark back here. I think he was absent in Salt Lake City. Wow. He, I think this was his first, this is his first goal. Yeah, this is his flash attempt and it's already going very, very smooth as if he's done this before. He's looking really, really solid. No signs of struggling. Now he's deciding to go cross left feet instead. Similar to Adam Ontra, I guess. Adam Ontra had his left foot on the volume though. Here we go, Matchy stuck. Oh, double pedals it and flashes Men's one. Oh my goodness, he's so strong. Matchy stuck. That was basically almost a perfect send. Damn, so good, so good. Yeah, so he decides to go for the slight pogo move. Really nice swing into the top section. That is so smooth. That. He's a master of the body positioning and momentum. That's so cool. And now we have Yoshiyuki Ogata. He has been struggling recently, you know, um, ever since the Japan Cup um, and the J Japan League and Boulder qualifications as well. So he barely just managed to get the bronze medal, but bronze medal wasn't enough to put him into the Olympic race. So Yoshiyuki Ogata really needs to do well in this Boulder finals to be able to have a chance to go into the World Cup tournament where there will, it will be the Olympic qualifying. So the World Cup tournament is this year at the end. So this is an extremely pivotal year for Yoshi Okigata. He has to compete with Sorato Anraku, um, you know, uh, Ritsu, Tomoe Narasaki, Kokoro Fuji. There's so much big competition for him and he decides to guest on it again. Ogata eyeing up what will he choose to do. He decides to go to Gaston again. Oh, but he somehow hangs on and presses it. Oh my goodness, he's so strong. Almost similar style to Adam Andra coming for the top. And he matches number one. Well done, Yoshiyuki Ogata. Only coming from Korea, John Won Chon's younger brother. Oh, couldn't, couldn't quite grab that Gaston. Maybe too much pulling on the right. He's looking really, really good like this year and last year. So um, he's been a finals, I believe, at least once. And I believe he got a medal as well. So Doyen Lee, no stranger to um, the World Cup finals. But Doyen Lee always kind of learning learning the ropes. He's still very, very young. But uh, I think with the guidance of John Won Chon as his senior, as his mentor, as a fellow competitor, Tony Lee does have a lot of things going on for him. And, uh, whoa, very nice hopping into the zone. Very, very cool. Well, he decides to go for this, yep, kind of the piano match before following up. Let's see how he chooses to do to go for the top. Oh, okay, very, very nice. He stops it just like Adam Andra with the leg and matches. The top, so good for Dorian Lee. First attempt for Yannick Floy on men's number two. Oh my goodness, is he holding a foothold with his right hand? Oh my gosh, oh. That's kind of disgusting, oh my goodness, whoa. Gets it flipped very, very nice, smashes the hands. A little bit of a uh, balanced position here in terms of tension. He needs to find the foothold, changes his left hand to a palm press. Oh my goodness, goes for the under, under toe hook. Oh wow, it's a really cool beta there. Smashes the hand, goes for the final top hold. Will be able to hold. Oh, he needs to find his feet and catch on. Yo, what is so sick of flash in the first go. That is so cool. Damn, that's so strong. Is on the goat. Will he decide to go for the foot hole as well? No, he decides to go for that press on the cling as intended. Now he fits to the zone matches. Oh, he really manages to hold that violent swing. Very, very cool. I also struggle with violent swings all the time as we are slightly taller climbers. He really keeps super low. He, can, he opts to kind of step all over the place instead of going for the fancy toe hole that Yannick Flohe did. Oh no, he actually drops the top. Oh, I don't think he managed to get the pinch there. I didn't believe he think that the, thought the, yeah, I think maybe he thought the the top hole was a little bit better um, than it actually is. So Adam Andra missing out on the flash there. It was very flashable, as Yannick Floe did um, did demonstrate here. He, oh, he did have a little bit of a toe hook on the morpho, 
on the sorry on the cheetah boomerang down low but the angle of the top hole is actually really really tricky on the clean press right hand into the boomerang boom boom double catch into the zone arena this is how what what does he choose to do matches the boomerang goes into this red morpho sloper puts his right foot on the foot chip decides to crawl across will he go oh no Ooh, there's something about the foot hole there or the foot the foot the foot situation there makes it really difficult because I think that red morpho hole is slopier than you think. Yeah, look at the angle of his fingers. They are not in cut at all. They are very, very negative. It's not really, really pleasant to hold. You need to really stay underneath. Yeah, he almost needs to keep his body under with a toe hook on the left foot. So very very tricky situation the whole move is quite big and the foothold you land on for the top is like there's no there's no nice jib there to push, put your foot so it's actually trickier than it looks i'm not sure how yannick ploy flashed this now this is really really tough and i'm on draw with about a minute and 10 seconds left on the clock how will the giraffe address this route he maybe has only two attempts left in the tank, most probably, but knowing the goat, he he can make something happen. Back flex into this, quite confident going to the slope, but this time he kind of has the most slightly dialed in, creeps his hand forward. Does he catch the top? Yes, he catches the top with his thumbs this time, and then it's the top. Here we go, baby! Adam Ondra celebrating, and the crowd goes incredibly wild. Holy shit, that's so cool. Ashley Slug now on attempt number one. He eyes up the zone, catches it, no problem, brings back his feet. Very precise. I just love the way his right foot just went to the jib. Like, you know, if you're a climber, you will really appreciate that. So that's really, really cool. Now he manages to go across to the slope, but almost like no problem for him. Wow, he's super strong. Look at his finger technique. Goes for the top, swings, can he control, balances on one foot. Oh, that was so sick. It almost went literally like, it almost went like horizontal, like parallel against the mat. Oh my goodness. He's so on fire. He is a beast, Meshti Slav. Boom, so precise on that foothold, almost no readjustment. Coming into this red hole, super, super nice. He stays super, super low. This the left toe hook actually keeps it on the wall very, very nicely. Subtle, subtle beta, but very, very critical. Critical Comes in for the pinch, actually goes for the pinch. Wow. Here got now coming into this double toe hook, decides to crawl his hands away. Now he's struggling a little bit with this section. Can he do it with the crux? Oh my goodness, flashes first goal. Dorian Lee now a bit confused at the start, decides to run and jump towards it. Manages to establish himself. Now how does he eye the zone? Boom boom catches with the zone, kicks the wall first before adjusting into the jib. It's quite nice as well. It's a lot less um, precise but equally effective. Dorian Lee coming down here. Wow, he doesn't actually tow. I think he he's actually stays staying super low. He's, he's so strong on his feet. Now drops the toe in for a better, better grip on the hold. Oh, decides not to go for the pinch. Oh my goodness, ignores the thumb pinch completely. He is so strong. I can't believe he did it without the thumb. You know, the thumb adds a lot, a lot of help. And if you're an experienced climber, you know the thumb is actually one of the most important parts of your fingers. So sick. How did he do this? He's so strong. He managed to hold this sloper almost with... I would say not the most ideal body position. Now only he drops down to make it better. Now he ex does come up here, just all four fingers with a little bit of a thumb on the top, but not the bottom. And he just manages to hang like that, no problem. Oh my goodness, he is so strong on his fingers. Damn. But at this point, Meshi Slug leads the way, Dorian Lee coming second, Adam Mondra is fifth. Now we're onto the slab, my favorite section of the wall, Yann Yannick Flo here comes in. Now this press is actually trickier than it looks because one hand looks a little bit higher than the other, or at least one hand is inside, one hand is facing outside. So that always has a little bit of rotation towards your body, so it's really, really tricky to establish. 90 seconds left on the clock now, but it doesn't seem like he's going for another attempt. Instead, he's actually brushing the holes. Looks like he's brushing the holes for the com next few competitors. So, wow, what a what a gesture of showmanship here. He's actually brushing the holes in volume so that they had the best conditions for Adam Andre coming up next. Yannick Flohe, times out brushing the holes. What a man, what a gentleman. 
Adam Ondra now gets really really nice brushed falls from Yannick Flo hey. Maybe Yannick Flo might be having the key, you know, that gesture might have been the key for Adam Ondra to win this um win this slab section. So Adam Ondra pops up quite nicely, establishes very, very well. Puts his right foot out so flexible. Yannick Flo here had a lot of trouble on this area. Goes for this little little thumb pinch here. I don't think he's allowed to use the side wall because there might be a little bit of black tape there if you can't see it. I think there is. Now how does he traverse across? Oh my god, that zone is basically invisible to the naked eye. Oh my god, it's so tiny. That might have been the tiniest drip I've ever seen. Oh my god, literally a thumbnail in in it's literally a thumbnail in size. Oh my goodness. How what is he pushing? Crosses over. Oh my goodness, what is this dual text mess? I cannot believe why he's stepping on. He's basically stepping on nothing. What's he gonna do? He's gonna smear on the volume. Oh, this, these foot chips are so small. How does he do it? Oh, he, yes. he probably tries to pedal to the top quickly, but oh my goodness, that is so tough on the feet. Oh man, that looked really, really tough. And Ronaldo shaking off his feet. That uh, I can't even see the jibs. Why is he standing on? He's standing on the clouds. He's literally standing on nothing. Oh my goodness! Those volumes are also relatively flat triangle volumes. Those look beautiful, man. Wow, beautiful AIX black volumes. Um, but Ronaldo really, really struggled uh, at the top section. But he looked really, really solid at the. Um, traverse, probably he just comes in, pops up to this IMM no position, gets his right leg up, almost no problem here. I'm not sure why he's trying to crimp there, it looks like he, looks like he tried to do something different than normal. I think that crimp there is nothing actually, it's meant to block the athletes from using the uh, side, that uh, volume. Um, so Adam Ondra puts his right foot up, yeah. So you don't have to crimp anything there, you just have to go straight into this uh, little chip there. Now moving into the zone. I believe, I believe this next foot hole is blocked somewhat by this dual text, not allowing you to kind of swap feet. Oh my goodness, but he somehow managed to balance across. Wow, it's almost like no hands for a little bit of that part there. Crimping, I'm not sure, crimping something there, putting his left foot Ross, this is a really really tough balance position. Transfers his left, goes to the top. Oh, so sick! He is the goal. He's so good at slab. The slab in the semi-final save there. Now in the finals, he is at the top of the slab. So excited! Well done, Adam Andra. Oh my goodness, what a goat, man! He's still in it. You know, he's a veteran of for over many many years. He's still relevant to this day. He's still dominant throughout his ages from young towards his well I would say this is his almost his golden days now he's still at the top of the world bouldering like tier you know he's still at the top of the international standard and no other athlete has been on this kind of form ever match the slug now on the slab now the slab isn't match the slug's favorite terrain this might be his downfall in order to maintain his number one status so far, he needs to be able to top this boulder. Now oh, has his right foot on the hold, bumps it up a little bit higher, comes in across into this thumb. Ooh, dances his feet across, gets the counter pressure, and now he looks like he's set up to go to the zone. He has yet to score the zone. So attempts to zone will matter if, know, if lots of people top um, top the boulders. So Messi start kind of struggling here to get to the zone. The zone, if, to be fair, is literally nothing. Might as well nothing to be there, to be honest. But he manages to creep his way forward. Gets a little bit of thumb and index finger, middle finger action here. Not sure what kind of grip this is called, but it's really, really tiny. And this left foot is so bad. He needs to kind of trust his weight over it. And oh, oh my goodness, how did Adam Andra do that? Schlag now manages to find his way above here. He only has about a minute left. Does he have enough time enough? Is he enough time to kind of pursue the top section? He needs to get through this left foot. Oh my god, that's so small. How was anybody supposed to step on that? What shoes was Adam Andra wearing? 
I need to know the shoes Adam Andra was wearing. Messi Stark struggling here. You do need to keep calm composure though, but Messi Stark kind of almost rushing it a little bit. He doesn't have much time, so I don't blame him. This might be his last attempt for a top. He already has secured the zone in about 3 or 4 attempts, but in 17 seconds, is, does he have enough time to go delicate? Enough all the way. This is his trouble. He's been having trouble with his left foot hole here. Was his shoes from 5-10 be enough? They were enough, but he did not manage to get the next foot hole and so therefore he's this. Unfortunately, Messi Stark goes down on the slab. Now, Yoshiki Gata, will he have enough slab king prowess? He has been training on slab a lot. Bipang Okigubo, I've heard rumors that, you know, he has been going on and on the slab over and over again, really, really practicing and dialing in slab movements. Will that pay off? Will all that training pay off? Because that's his weakness. He identifies his weakness, he decides to work on it. Um, because the slab makes all the difference in the world. If you are able to hit the slab confidently and secure the slab, um, you know you know you're in good position for the rest of the, rest of the competition. You know your results will be solid enough. Joshi Yuki kind of dancing his feet across. Decided to go cross, but having his ankle turned away towards the top direction instead of his outside edge. So he's trying to use his inside edge of his 5'10 high angle pros, I believe. Oh, managed to step across very well. That actually gives him good balance to go across. Oh no! Almost a little bit on a frantic situation. He needs to calm his nerves down. He needs to reset and zen in order to send. So... Yushiki Yukata, minute left on the clock, comes in for this mental press, IMN version, establishes, and yeah, come on Yushiki Yukata. Ale, ale. Goes for the zone, the zone's super tiny, but he makes it look very, very well. He's moving his thumb underneath here, he has to be super, super. Precise with this, he needs to trust his left, but transitioning your weight into that left. Unfortunately, the graphic is blocking our view of the foothold, but he manages to go nicely. A lot, a lot slower this time. 30 seconds left on the clock. Yes, his weight is across. Come on, Yoshi Kuegata. You have only maybe one chance at this top. You better not screw it up. But his top is blind. He can't really see the top very well. No, he can't see the top very well. No, he did not really account for that blind top. Oh my goodness, that was so close, that's so disappointing. Doyle Lee on his flash attempt, now he's under the lights, the sun has already set. Pressing up into this thumb, how's he gonna maneuver across? Gets to the zone on his first try, that's quite important actually, it could be quite significant. Ooh, okay, deciding how to move his left foot across, decide to go inside. He's trying to find the inside edge, so a little bit of a balancey situation here. I think Yoshi Oke Gata went on the outside. Doyen Lee decides to go on the inside. Oh my goodness, he's literally standing on nothing. Oh, weight transfers beautifully though. Manages to find the foot chip. Looks super well balanced. Don't tell me he's going to flash this. Oh my god, that'd be incredible if he flashes this. I can't believe he's so good at slab. Oh my goodness, he's so... Slow, moving so precise. Oh, kind of slips a little bit with the right hand. But does he eye? Does he know the top hole is slightly blind? Yes, from this angle, he can't see it. He goes for it. Oh, he knows. Oh my god, so good. How does he instinctively know the top? And he flashes boulder number three. That's so significant. Oh, three toss. Sportsman of the day, Yannick Flohe is on boulder number four. We are introduced to these beautiful green. Uh, Rock City Volumes, um, Rock City Holes, and Blue Pill, uh, Dual Text Macros as well. Really nice toe hook over there into the zone, very quick zone. Whoa, going to the double catch, really, really cool, interesting route. Wait for this toe hook to match the top, and there we go, that's it. Nice and short and sweet route, that is, that is pretty nice. So, attempts to top do matter, flashes do matter, Adam Andra. How is he gonna figure this out? This is not his forte though, but um, you know, it might. I believe he might. Oh my goodness, I, he's going for some heel hook shenanigans. Don't tell me he's going for the zone straight away. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. Only the GOAT can do this, man. Only the GOAT can do this. Goes into the double catch. Sticks it, he should be able to top. 
Oh my goodness, Flash is the top so cool. Oh my goodness. The goat is back. The king has returned. Oh, that and all on draw four tops. Two. I think at least one in Flash there. So sick. Oh, the another one draw. Now, Doyon Lee now does need to top this within 8 attempts, but I, I think it would be great if he flashes this. He decides to go for the intended swing swing method. This is a little bit risky though, but he reads it that way, no problem. Oh, a little bit, a uh, little bit. Oh, he decides to find the heal. He actually finds the heal. He spots he spots the extra room. Now he goes for the zone. Was he, does he catch enough? Oh, I thought he didn't really catch that well enough, but he did. But that's just a match, and this should be no problem for Doyon Lee. Come on. Ali for the gold! For the gold to who matches! Oh, so good. That's gold for Korea, South Korea. Well done, Doyoni. Nice, nice.